Oh, hello everybody, welcome. Today we're going to do a nice little video on the Mirage 3C. I've been, War Thunder, I've been working up on the French tree. So we're going to do a video on the Mirage 3C. Uh, we're not going to touch the Mirage 3, maybe later, but it, takes, it took a lot to get this, even this plane usable. I couldn't do it the other one. So the Mirage 3C is a 10-3 uh, in this game. So the armament you get for it is M9Bs and then magic. Uh, and it takes quite a while to get up to it. This 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 is one issue. This plane is very in a compressed state as you do in 10 3, 11 3 with AM9Bs and 511, 530E and the 530 are just where is it? Oh, there we go. 530, 530E and 511. They're really just they're not good. They're really I I I've, I've been using the 511 Reality is you can use the 530 as well. They're only 511 is only 12 Gs, 530 is 15, and 530E is only rear uh, infrared rear aspect, and it's just a long range AM9B. So it's I've kind of hit a mess trying to figure out what to do, and, re and it took a while because basically you just had to go AM9Bs, hover around people, wait for them to have no velocity, fly. Right here, missile, they'll dodge it, and then they burn speed, use your cannon, and shoot them. Kind of just priced out for this plane until you get to the magics. You get to the magics, this is kind of the load that I've been doing. Yeah, uh, two magics of 11, and a cannon. You could go rocket propellant and uh, tank oxizer, but it removes the cannon. But I feel like the cannon is actually very important, especially because you are Delta Wing. Delta Wings. A really good turn time. You can turn this thing very well, but you will bleed a lot of speed. So, anyways, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a little very different videos. We've got the Mirage 3C. We got basically its brother, the Mirage 5F, and then we got the Swedish prototype Milan. This was supposed to go to uh, Sweden and is a special variant. Actually, I think it's one. This is one of my favorite planes. So, anyways, uh, let's get into it. Hey guys. Time for some action with the Mirage. So, I want to give a little brief history of the Mirage because it, it's cool. The Mirage was started in 1953 as a project. It's actually pretty cool. Very old airframe as a plane. But the initial design was supposed to be five to six tons and had to be a light, nimble, but also versatile plane. And the first prototype, was very lackluster. It had a lot of it, just the engine was having issues. The uh, delta fin layout was wrong, so they put a setback fin we have now. And it came up until 1955 when the first test flight came out and was very well light. It had to increase its weight by uh, through seven to eight tons in Leyden. It's uh, pretty cool. And it was a hundred were ordered off the back from uh, the French army. So there were five variants of this. E is they moved all the avionics out from behind the main pilot, what, you, what I'm looking at right now, put it into the nose, got rid of the radar. So they could put two seats to be a trainer. C, what I'm flying right now, is, an, is the, I'm forgetting the word, intercept. And was actually was capable of being ready and being able to take off in five minutes any for you know interceptor reasons you know in case of hacks and everything whatever right so how i played in game is kind of what we're doing right now kind of like how i played starfighter corner speed climb because right as you get it above mock this thing flies, flies. this thing is very good it, acceleration is not starfighter it will right only 140 that's the stack card under its certain parameters, right? It's not crazy like the Starfighter that you're a, basically a lawn dart. You can fly across the map in no time, but it's very capable that you can just, what I'm doing right now, get up to about three, 4,000 meters, turn in, and just hold it right about here, and we will pretty much be with the entire team on the front lines. E and D were, was designed for low altitude strikes and had was lengthened by 30 centimeters, had a dope a Doppler radar or MRTI is what France calls it and was equipped with the Atari 9C engine versus this has the Atari 9B engine and then it also gets players 
as this one lacks its flares. It kind of sucks because you are Pen 3 without flares and stock your AM9Bs without flares fighting MiG 21s, MiG 23s, Jaguars, C 25s, A 10s, Kiffers, the, uh, whatever they're called, the Vegans. Pretty crazy. And then the Mirage R was just designed for reconnaissance. Low and medium altitude. And then, yeah, so the idea was supposed to be a multi roll. So that was the four or five. And then it kind of just spiraled to anything. Basically, it became a mass export country. And every country said, hey, could I have boom, 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 boom? And boom, boom, boom happened, right? And right, every country did their own needs for this thing. And uh, so. One of the famous versions of this it, that came out later was the Mirage 3.0, but Australia, it's under, it had Australian requirements. And Australia used it up until the 1980s, and then they made the Mirage 3 Rose, is what the oldest, the latest variant of it's called. But uh, when they swapped to the F-18 in the late 80s, he gave it to Pakistan, and Pakistan is still using it to this day. So anyways, into how you play this plane, um, typically what I do is I turn off the radar as Singh has one of the worst SAR type of missiles. I put the 511 on, so it's 8 kilometers locked. It has full thrust all the way to even 8 kilometers distance. It's actually pretty cool, uh, but it's just 12 Gs, you're pretty useless. So I turn it off so anyone with RWR does not see me, and I basically come in no air breaks out, control our speed. Attitude's getting hunted by well two planes. We're gonna go this way. Yeah. And yeah, basically I kinda just play it as a swoop in, you drop a missile out, fly away. Kinda that's kinda the concept of it. It's very kinda lackluster was fighting. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna get to there. That should be a perfect hit. We're gonna get up. So yeah, it's kind of a interesting plane as magics really may sell it. You do have really good capability with uh, the gun. Sadly, uh, there's a few times where I've gotten really good movement kills with just the gun and Especially when you get what I have, the feature that makes it so you can, uh, hide, uh, what do you call it? That, uh, what do you call it? The setting called. There's a modification that changes your ailerons, makes it so you can pull harder. Adding that modification made this thing have a guaranteed 12 to 14 G pull, meaning you can do some really tough angles. And I've gotten some really sweet kills. Just on my own time, while trying to really modify this and just learn how to play it. We're gonna go for another Harrier. Or Harriers. Lop. So typically with the Magics, you wanna do, uh... Typically with the Magics, they are, uh, between one and a half to three kilometer range. That's what I call your best suit in. Past that, you're gonna have to be careful. Past that, you're kind of playing on fire. Guy's gonna fire at me probably. We're gonna just gain speed as that's our best capability. Oh, he's actually gaining way more speed than me. He can actually hold into mock. There we go. Oh, I'm dead. He got pulled off. Basically, the entire play we're gonna have to do is just hold into mock as we can actually go into further into mock. Just most planes, and yeah, he's gonna pull off. Okay, so now I have my rocket boosters equipped. It's kinda, there's a, a double-edged sword. Everything's a double-edged sword, really. Rocket boosters, yeah, it's very fun. I, I like using it to keep my energy up, and how to keep it build up. At the same time as you lose the cannon, and a lot of times, and really is vital. If you're researching this thing and actually try to grind this plane, I'd almost say to skip them. I'd say skip the Mirage. Mirage 5F, I'd say, honestly, use right. Yeah, it's very fun, and it's way better than the Mirage 3. But at the start, don't do AM9s, and the rocket repellent is pretty useless. 
So we're gonna get some boost, and there we go. That little rocket. We're gonna get over speed, and because it has, it was 80 seconds, rocket repellent. We're gonna push up. We're gonna use it to gain a little bit of speed. We're gonna use it for a little bit to get us enough, and then we're gonna flip, we're gonna turn it off. And just climb normally. Right, so let's get up to about a thousand meters and then be good. It's pretty cool. And especially because I like to play off on the corner and sweep the map. That you know you can get to a lot more advantage spots. There we go. Turn it off now. And we are good. Ooh, we got some SUs. We go for some easy pickings. Ooh, no, we got a J35 on us. Alright, dog. Other glory diving right now. So uh, once again, we gotta get within something like. Um, you know what? We're gonna be helpful. Oh, we're gonna burn. I think we find that we can burn a lot of speed. We're gonna put burn. We're gonna put my tracer on. Mini map. See where he is. And I should hit. And I'm gonna turn that off. And we should only field thing? Okay. Oh, we're just gonna waste it. We don't so once again we don't have a cannon. Oh his engine's off. So I'm not getting a re radar. Okay. I'm just gonna pull off. Now I think we're gonna have Really? I don't have a cannon, so. Yeah, his engine's dead. Great, I can't get the kill. 